Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created to the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's hey! a figment of your imagination. Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your mind. I can in Georgia based on all of this. And there's, there's nothing wrong with, with saying that, Brad. You know, I mean, having, the, having a correct... You, the people of Georgia are angry. And these numbers are going to be repeated on Monday night. Tonight. Along with others that we're going to have by that time, which are much more substantial even... Mm. And the people of Georgia are angry. The people of the country are angry. And there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, uh, that you've recalculated. What? Well, Mr. President, the challenge that you have is the data you have is wrong. Oh! <laughs> now, do you think it's possible that they uh, shredded ballots in uh, Fulton County? Because that's what the rumor is. And also that Dominion took out machines. Uh, that Dominion is really moving fast to get rid of their uh, machinery. Do you know anything about that? Because that's illegal. This is Ryan Germany. No, Dominion has not um, moved any machinery out of Fulton County. We're having well, but no, but, but have they moved? Uh, have they have they moved the inner parts of the machines and replaced them with other parts? No. <laughs> you sure, Ryan? I'm sure. Oh, for God's sake. You should want to have an accurate election. And you're a Republican. We believe that we do have an accurate election. No, I no, you don't. No, no, you don't. You don't have. You don't have. Not even close. You got, you're off by hundreds of thousands of votes. You know what they did, and you're not reporting it. That's a, you know, that's a criminal, that's a criminal offense. Oh, my God. And, and you know, you can't let that happen. That's, that's a big risk. To you and to Ryan, your lawyer, that's a big risk. But they are shredding ballots, in my opinion, based on what I've heard. <laughs> and they are removing machinery, uh, and they're moving it as fast as they can, both of which are criminal fines, and you can't let it happen, and you are letting it happen. Oh, you know, I mean, I'm notifying you that you're letting it happen. So, look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find... Uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state. Oh! Happy 2021, everybody. Happy 2021. And the way things are right now, that could sound hopeful or desperate. Holy crap. Uh, listen, we have a vaccine for COVID in 2021, but we have trouble getting it into people. We have a new president in 2021, but we're having trouble getting it into the White House. This is amazing. I swear to God, I'm sure by now you've heard many of these clips from this uh, one hour and two minute freaking outrageously criminal phone call where uh, Donald Trump, listen, put it this way. If, if, if the Georgia Secretary of State had turned this tape over to the local sheriff, there would be a restraining order against our president. Do you see what I mean? This is so crazy. And I don't want to say crazy because deluded or crazy or uh, a man who actually believes the swill that he's peddling would be a defense in criminal law because the criminal law that he violated says that you have to knowingly urge people to change ballots for you. You have to know it. So being deluded or delusional, that's actually a defense for Donald Trump. I mean, we're, 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 America, we're going to need a restraining order. Uh, we're going to need a restraining order against the president just to keep him out of the White House. <clears throat> now, I still now think that uh, because we have, you know, uh, the little GSA lady, remember her? GSA lady? Uh-huh. I think because she has ascertained that Donald Trump is not the president and ascertained that Joe Biden is, uh, I still believe that come January 20th, they will change the locks. They will take away his parking space. They will say, Melania, that's not your bedroom anymore, or go decorate something else uh, to piss him off. 
it, 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 this is the this is so weird. All right, so how did we get this phone call? You know the phone call I'm talking about, right? So there was a one hour and two minute phone call between Brad Raffensperger, the Secretary of State of Georgia, his attorney Ryan Germany, a name that Donald Trump really likes. I don't know. Uh, his attorney Ryan Germany, Donald Trump. And Donald Trump's attorney, Cleta Mitchell, Cleta, does everybody remember Cleta? I don't know how many people remember, but Cleta came across our radar years and years ago. She's another rabid, uh, you know, uh, practically a QAnon lady, not quite as, uh, you know, ludicrous as uh, the other. But she was on the call, and we didn't even know that she was involved in any of this until this call. Why? And this call happened Saturday. Today's Monday. It happened Saturday. Now... This call was Donald Trump trying to shake down the Secretary of State of Georgia into finding him, literally finding, manufacturing, making up, you know, uh, uh, discovering 11,780 votes, or as he put it, one more than Joe Biden got in order for Joe Biden to win the 16 electoral votes from the state of Georgia. Now. That wouldn't change the result of the election, no. So because that wouldn't change the result of the election, one has to wonder how many other calls that aren't recorded are there. Did he call Arizona? Did he call Nevada? Did he call Wisconsin? Did he call Michigan? Did he call, uh, you know, uh, 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 Pennsylvania? Is he shaking down people all over this country? Okay. Now, the only reason why we have this recorded call, and when you think of the history of Donald Trump being recorded on phone calls, it it, it never goes well for Donald, okay? Because he thinks he's Tony Soprano, but he's too stupid to end up in a diner listening to Don't Stop Believing. He's too stupid. But every time we have a recorded phone call, remember the recorded phone call, the perfect phone call with Ukrainian President Zelensky. Remember, it was a perfect phone call. It was a perfect phone call. Then remember his phone call with Bob Woodward. Oh, Bob, you know, this is a very lethal, uh, you know, disease. And if it gets the wrong person, you know, you're gone, you're dead, you're done. I just, uh, you know, I always wanted to play it down. I just want to play it down. And now this with Brad Raffensperger. You know, it just... It, it, it never goes well when Donald Trump, uh, you know, is, uh, is on a tape recording. So here we have a new year, the second day of the new year, and everything is different and everything is still the same because here he is on another phone call threatening another extortion plot. OK, I mean, this is this is unbelievable. So. I guess the hopeful news is we are on the downhill side of the biggest mountain of crap that we've ever had to climb. The problem is we're still in the crap. And now it's rolling downhill with us. So I don't know when this stops. I'm not really sure 100% when this stops. Okay. The answer truly is it will never stop with Trump because, you know, you give Donald Trump uh, permission to get away with this, just like we gave him permission to get away with the Woodward call, just like we gave him permission to get away with the Zelensky call. Then, you know, you, you keep letting him get away, you know, with, with the then he will he will literally take democracy with him. Do you know, I mean, there's just no question. And there are things that can be done right now. Truly, there are things that can be done. We could. Honestly, Nancy Pelosi has been voted in again as Speaker of the House. We could impeach him again. We could. No time like now for impeachment, you know, or or we could prosecute him after the fact or both. And then there's another little thing that we could do. That has to do with the Constitution and the provisions therein. What to do when you have... A criminal president, a president who's unable to execute the duties, or a deluded president. See, that won't be a defense for the 25th Amendment. Being delusional is the reason for the 25th Amendment. In federal law, being delusional is a defense for extortion and rigging or trying to rig. You don't even have to finish it. You don't even have to accomplish it. But trying to rig an election is a crime. 
CityRoads.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.